Alright, what's going on everyone? So today in this video what we're doing is basically I'm gonna be going over some summer streetwear essentials. Again, I know I've done I've done a good amount of videos like this recently, but I just feel like it's good. And this one's a little different too. Instead of it being cheap, it's expensive. So for some of y'all, you know, want to spend more on stuff, then there you go. I got something here for y'all and some different things that you guys can buy that I feel like are really good items and almost like sort of like an essential, I guess, if you could say, uh, if you're looking at more expensive items for, or certain types of items, you, you get what I'm saying? Maybe you do or don't, but I'm just going to get straight into this video. Hope you guys are going to enjoy it. So if you're new, go ahead, subscribe, drop a like. Drop a comment, uh, let me know what you think about these when I get into it and all that. And yeah, we're just gonna get straight into discussing this. So hopefully you guys find this helpful, any of that. You can all go check me out on Instagram in the description or any of that too, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into this video right now, for real. Let's do that. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so the first one that I think like it's you know, like a low key essential. I mean, it's not really, but it is at the same time. It's uh, Sui Coke sandals. Now I know y'all may have seen these before. They're decently popular, but they're like $200 sandals. Um, my friends have found them cheaper though. Um, and honestly, I think they're good. You know, they have an interesting design. You know, you feel me on that one. They're, they are a little bit different, but they're probably very comfortable. I'd say, you know, for the price they are. Um, and you know, if people know them, they'll be like, oh yeah, those are the sandals, you know? So if you're trying to get noticed, I guess a little bit, buy just your pair of sandals and I guess go with this. But I think they go pretty crazy. I mean, I mess with them, but they're not anything like, I'm too interested in but the reason I put this as like an essential is because there's a lot of people that are like Oh, I don't want to wear slides because people feel like slides are played out But I want something that's like not like basic I guess but something's more expensive uh, that, you know, I guess it's sort of with the streetwear trends and a lot of people have been going with this because they've been getting more popular And though, you know, they, every once in a while we have like some types of shoes like this Whether it's a sand or thing like that. They just become really popular very expensive It's just how like they catch the trends I guess so these I guess they're going with them They're cool sort of an essential, but I wouldn't consider it a major one really next up though Y'all can see it on the screen. We got the Kith Russell shorts now these Again, if you're looking to pay some more for some shorts, not too much, but still fairly expensive. I say these Kith Russell shorts are really good. They're $100, so that's pretty expensive for some shorts. Uh, but they fit really well from what I've heard, and they've also been pretty comfortable. Sort of like an everyday go-to sort of pair of shorts. I don't know the exact material they're made of, but it looks sort of just like sweat shorts, not like sort of, but better fitting, I guess they're saying. You know, sweat shorts sort of run a little like bigger, like I have some pairs up there. One of that, you know, I think these are cool. I think it's a nice one for sure. And also the kids, so, you know, you get a little bit of like, you know, you starting to get into like high piece factory and things like that, you feel. I mean, sort of, but it's more again, just like for streamer and all that. So I think these are really cool. And I think, you know, if you're looking to pay more for ones with like name brand, things like that, then I think these shorts work out perfectly fine for you. So go ahead and cop them. And this isn't sponsored. None of this video is, I mean, pretty noticeably, none of it is. Uh, but if you're interested in any of these items, I'll link the exact ones with those prices that I've been saying down below. So you guys can actually go cop them. So if you want to go cop those, they'll be in the description right there for you. Next up though, me and my friend Ben thought this one was pretty crazy. He actually showed it to me. We got the Palace Tri Shadow T. Now this T is actually $120. So that that's pricey. That's, that's expensive right there. So I mean, that's a lot. Uh, to be paying for a tee, but hey, you know, it's not that bad. I actually say, you know, a lot of us sometimes are paying a lot more for some tees with different designs, and I think this one's dope for sure. You get the little triferg on the front and the triferg on the back, and then also, you know, it's just sort of like how it fades in with like the white color of the tee. I think it's super dope, and definitely one that I'd be like, hey, you know, I gotta cop this like when I see it, and I still am. Like, I have my eyes on it, like, it's pretty fire. So, this one, you know, for 120, I think is definitely a good deal. I mean, you may think 120 for one t-shirt is crazy, but again, these are expensive essentials, so if you want to just say, hey, you know, it's too pricey, well, this kind of video just may not be for you, you know, it's, I understand that completely, so, you know, just don't get to hating straight away, but, you know, this is fairly pricey, but I can tell you palace tees are comfortable, and this is definitely something that's worth it, because the design's fire on it, and I gotta admire it. That sort of rhymes a little bit, you know, this one, no. Next up, we got the Air Max 97 Neon Soul. Uh, I don't know really how to pronounce it, so I just said Soul, but I don't I don't really know how to pronounce it exactly. So basically, these cost like around around 185. And I personally think these are a dope, like expensive Nike, like summer streetwear essential, or just one in general, because it's is expensive at 185. So that's decent. Um, I mean, decently pricey for a pair of shoes, but also not to mention I think the color would go really well for summer. I mean, the black colorway I feel like more is more like all around, but like the actual lighter color theme of the sneaker after the black colorway. I'd say it's actually a pretty like general like fitting summer so like i think this is definitely something you may want to look for but you never know i mean these are cool if you want to cop them you know again they're all down below right there and for me i don't know if i could see myself in 97s i should i mean i may try it i mean you know you just have to sort of see how it fits but i don't know if 97s would necessarily go with like sort of what kinds of sneakers i wear but if they did and i don't have to cop one that sort of fit the summer style like this one would be um you know one that's like not too expensive but still expensive and also sort of fits with the summer theme and i think the design's dope in it like you gotta just admire that like he did a pretty good job not gonna lie and next up and finally we have the kit tommy hilfiger flag tee now 
Uh, this one includes Tommy and Kiss. So Kiss a little bit more high piece. Tommy more like general vintage streetwear, thrifting, things like that. You know, a lot of people know Tommy. I'd say more people know Tommy than Kiss, obviously. So they sort of collabed on this tee, and I think it's sort of dope. So you know, sort of getting into both sides of that kind of streetwear. So you get into more like vintage and thrifting and things like that. And where the Kiss is like more like hypey stuff. You get what I'm saying? So I think this is definitely a dope collaboration and definitely one that you should try and probably have. Um, and I think it's also a good tee for summer too. You know, a lot of people are in Tommy Hilfiger, things like that in the summer. I don't know why I'm talking so fast. I really don't. I mean, I just suddenly got some energy, but yeah, you know, Kid Tommy T, I think it's pretty nice and definitely one you could look into copying if you know you're looking for some summer essentials uh, that are a little bit more expensive. The tee's like right around 90, so not too bad for a tee. But, you know, if you're looking to just make some money real quick, not make some money, but cop a tee that's worth your money, that's, you know, a little bit more expensive, but it's also like summer themed. Let's say this one too. If you got a budget round for 100 for one t-shirt, then this one I think is probably a pretty good one to cop. And I must have the design and also the brands that are sort of collaborating on it. So, you know, thought I'd throw that one in there and that's it. So let's roll the outro. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, do any of that. It all goes a long way. Turn those notifications on too so you get my videos from keep posting daily as we have been. You see the streak we got going on. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna keep going with what I have been. You know, been doing pretty good so far this summer. A lot of people showing love and just sort of going through some stuff and getting through it. So that's pretty much it. I'm bounce out because I'm done. So yeah, shoot, just thanks for watching. If you cop any of these, let me know. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram description. All my social media is down there. I'd really appreciate a follow. It'll go a long way. I'm trying to get my Instagram up there. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. I'm Tristan. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one tomorrow. So after this one. So peace out.